the second question that I have today is in continuation with the first one that I just answered. So the second part is that why uh, do fights end up in ending relationships? Okay. So if I am fighting, why does it happen that, uh, you know, sometimes the relationship actually ends? So this seems like a very obvious question, but let's, let's look at it a little bit differently. Okay. What happens if I have unresolved issues within me and I do not fight? What happens then? I keep suffering and suffering and suffering and suffering and suffering and eventually I develop cancer or I develop uh, heart disease, I develop, uh, you know, kidney failure or something which is so drastic for the body because if you are suffering emotionally, it is going to block the energy flow inside the body, it is going to affect the circulation in the body and eventually some or the other organ will get affected, definitely. So, so then why, uh, why would I not fight, you know? So then fighting uh, would actually mean that I took a stand for myself and I raised my voice. Uh, I didn't keep the emotions within me. So it is actually good. It's very good. And if the other person is doing the same things, not trying to actually hurt you, but trying to resolve his own unresolved issues and letting the other person know this, then there will be no end in the relationship. It will be just a mutual um, understanding. Okay, It will generate a much deeper relationships. Because as you fight, the quality of your fight should improve. Okay, The quality of the fight decides whether you it will end a relationship or it will not end a relationship. A lower quality fight is about blame game. Okay? Because mm, I have unresolved issues with myself, I have these shadow aspects about me that I have not healed the wounds inside me and I am not going to heal them but I am going to blame you for not healing those. Okay? So that's a blame game where we do that. It's a lower quality fight. But the higher quality fight is when you are aware of your shadows, when you know that why you are getting triggered and you can call it out. You can say that I am not in the position to respond to you right now because I have these triggers. You, your voice, your things are triggering me because of unresolved issues of the past. I have wounds. I have not healed them completely. But you, when you say these things to me, those wounds become alive again and I have to look at them I have to resolve them in silence so I must separate from you for the time being so that I go back and look at those wounds and heal those wounds so for when the fight happens in this way where where the other person is saying some things and instead of reacting you are looking inside and seeing why is it triggering me why does it trigger me? So right now, you know, the I had a fight with my husband two days ago, and, uh, uh, and not two days ago, last Sunday, <laughs> last Sunday, yeah. So I was having a fight with him, and um, we said a lot of things to each other. But in at the same moment, I was asking that when I am saying these things to you, Shivam. Are you feeling anything inside you? Are you feeling, um, are you feeling hurt by my words? He said, no, I'm not feeling actually hurt. My inner being is actually very calm. So I said, okay, but what you are saying to me is actually triggering me. So that means right now what is happening is you are, your words are shining light on what needs to be healed within me. So I am grateful that this is happening. At the same time, I am very, very upset about what is happening within me. I am sad and I am to the point that I want to break the relationship and get away from here. But I am also aware that these are just triggers 
on my unhealed parts and i am going to look at them tomorrow not today because today to i am not in the state of looking at them today to i am completely gone so but that awareness was there and i was also one part of me was also aware that whatever is happening today whatever fights i am having with this uh, person tomorrow i will share it with my friends and laugh about it so that kind of higher awareness comes to you as you as the quality of your fights um, you know increase so they don't always end up in ending relationships they only end up in ending relationships when the quality of the fight is low level where it's just about mm-hmm, throwing garbage at each other it's not about mutual growth or uh, understanding to try to resolve the issue when you are trying to resolve the issue there is always a door for you which will open up but if you are not trying to resolve the issue if you're just blaming and putting garbage at each other then of course this is going to end the relationship so increase the quality of your fights that's all thank you for this question